the Israeli program for short term lull in the violence by, by killing a 13 year old boy while he played football during an incursion. This sparked off around um, Spain and Ireland, which then um, the Egyptians brokered a ceasefire off. This ceasefire lasted two days. Now the Israelis again broke that ceasefire on the 14th of November by the extrajudicial assassination of Hamas chief of staff, not military chief of staff. This again led to further violence and we have seen since the disproportionate force, the indiscriminate bombing of the people of Gaza. The bombardment has come from the air, from the land and from the sea. And at, at the present moment in time, there are huge, um, huge amounts of reserves ready to move in. There are also tanks at the borders and the bombardment has not stopped. We get our information directly from an Irish citizen who is living and working in Gaza. There are no sanctions from the international community for its frequent and flagrant human rights abuses against the Palestinian people has resulted in this current assault. Israel commits war crimes with impunity. This is intolerable and it must end now. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Gaza! Free, free Gaza! Okay, as I said, we have a number of speakers. Um, first, I would like to hand you over to, oh, minor, to our speaker from Gaza, Basma Gilali. Yeah? Uh, she's living here in Dublin, but is from Gaza and has been receiving regular updates from her family and friends there. Hi, um, I've been uh, in touch with my... Hey. My first time, so um, my, my parents, my sister, and my brothers are all back in Gaza, and I've been in touch with them on an hourly basis. They're all very strong. Um, my mum's very active, she's just on Facebook and on her email all the time, giving reports about what's really going on. And, and they're bombing all the time in the background. I'm on the phone with them almost every minute, every hour, and it's just it's not easy, but I mean, they'll, they'll never bring us down, basically. It, that, that, that's what, what the Israelis need to understand, and um, uh, it's, it's, it's not easy, it's not easy to stay strong under these circumstances, and the most frustrating thing is actually to see how the media and the newspapers are dealing with it, equating both sides is ridiculous, you know, an army oppressing and attacking people, who, who, and then just asking expecting them not to defend themselves is absolutely ridiculous. We, we need to retain the right to defend ourselves, retain the right to attack back and, um, and be very confident uh, that it is our right. That it's, our, it's our right to fight back and, and nobody can take that right away from us. And that's, that's it. Okay, I'm not sure if he's arrived yet, but we also have an Israeli speaker. And before you all boo, he's uh, anarchist against the walls uh, activist Ronnie Barakan. Hey. Thank you, everyone, for coming here. I think it's very important that we're here. But we're not only here. We're not only in Dublin. We're all over the world. In New York, in London, <coughs> throughout the Arab, the Arab world. It is very important that we send out a message. To Israel, the land that I'm coming from, to speak to you guys in Dublin, because our work here in Dublin is much more important than what can be done from within, trying to stop the criminality, the oppression, the repression, the terror that is produced by the criminal state of Israel. Unfortunately, it is not only the criminal state of Israel that is practicing occupation and apartheid practicing <coughs> repression and oppression on a on daily basis. It is not only that state that is criminal here, but it is also all those who lend legitimacy and give impunity to the continuation of the crime. It is the European governments who have, re who have recently upgraded trade agreements with Israel. It is the US who is lending absolute impunity financially, diplomatically, militarily, to that state. It is every government who refuses to hold Israel accountable, who refuses to hold Israel to what it is obligated to under international law, to respect universally recognized human rights. This is what we are demanding.